Right, everyone, let's get straight into our warm up. I want you to bring all of your weight into your left foot. We're going to bring that right knee in towards your chest, and we're crossing that right ankle just above the knee. So, in a bit of a figure four. And then, when you're ready, we're going to begin to sink down into that glute. Nice and balanced. <laughs> So just awakening up those stabilizing the body. So I'm a bit of balance work, but a bit of a glute stretch right into it. Deep breath in, long breath out. Nice, let's bring that knee into the chest. Don't move anywhere. Take that foot behind and just grab a hold. I'll face sideways so you can see. Into your quad stretch, really tucking your tailbone under, pressing those hips forward, getting that nice stretch of the quad. One more big breath in, long breath out. Nice, gently releasing that foot down, straight to the other side, weight into your right foot. Bring that left knee into the chest, crossing that ankle just above, and then let's begin to sink it down into that figure four. Nice glute stretch. My body is feeling tender and sore today, so I'm really feeling this in my glute. One more big breath in, long breath out. Nice, slowly coming up. See if you can keep that knee lifted the whole time, and then let's take it behind into a little quad stretch. Nice, tuck that tailbone under, relax through those shoulders. Nice, big breath in, long breath out. Nice, gently releasing. Let's just come to the back of our mat. Feet are slightly hip width distance apart. Big bend through those knees, reach all the way up and then fold back down. Nice, two more, big breath in, really bend, reach, stretch and fold. Let's go one more all the way up. Folding down, I want you to interlace the hands behind you, send them overhead. Nice, release with the head, neck and the shoulders, just for three, two, and one. Releasing those hands, bend the knees, slowly stack that spine all the way up. Beautiful, coming into our first move. So I'm gonna break it down for you to start with. We're gonna squat, lift, pause. Find a calf raise, bring it down, squat back, jump up. So we squat, pause, lift, down, lower all the way. Nice, so once you've got it, you can begin to flow through it. So today we have 45 seconds on, five seconds off. We have eight exercises and we're moving through three rounds. Good, make sure to breathe and up, nice. Lift, lower, elevating that heart rate to start with. Let's go one more, up and release. Nice, let's grab our dumbbells here. Make sure you've got your water handy today as well. Coming into a bicep curl with a rotator cuff. I'm already out of breath. Nice, let's take our feet hip with distance apart. Bring them up, bicep curl. Take it to nine degrees, open to the side, curl, release. So we're not letting those arms drop the whole time. We're keeping the tension on those biceps. It's a good one just to bring that breath back down in through the nose and out through our mouth. This is workout number 172, can you believe it? Maybe you wanna challenge yourself and grab some heavier dumbbells today, depending how you're feeling, depending how that body is. Nice. So full body as always. And only three rounds. So let's dig deep and finish this workout off. Let's go one more. And release, nice. Just pop your weights down beside you, keep them handy, because we're gonna use them soon. Coming to some seated ab bikes. Brutal, but we're not here for too long. So find that little C shape, knees up, and we're gonna twist our bike it out. Whoa, good. Now if this is really hurting through your lower back, know that you can come down, move through your normal ab bikes. That's your option, otherwise, stay with us. That's where the party is. <laughs> Point those toes, woohoo! <laughs> Let's try and get that form looking nice. Don't copy me with this one. If you need a pause and reset, lift and then come back to it. A few more than we're laying down, but grab your dumbbells on the way. Three, two, one. Ooh, least favorite. Come on down, grab your weights into your hands. Those legs are gonna come up. This is gonna test your coordination and your brain. So, opposite arm, opposite leg. We lower the left leg to 45 as we open that right arm with a chest fly and lift. Then right leg, left arm open, close. So just lower that leg to where it feels safe within the body. It does not have to tap the earth. 
It just goes to where you can really feel that strength through the lower abs. Try not to drop that arm or the elbow on the earth either. You want to keep tension through the chest. Squeeze. Nice. Keep drawing in through the rib cage. Nice. Nelly there. Point those toes and release. Nice. Pop those weights beside you. We're coming onto our left hand side. Beautiful. Left forearm down, left knee's at 90. Your right leg is nice and long. Lift it up, drawing little circles with that toe. So pointing through the foot, keeping it at hip height. Keep those hips stacked. So try not to roll forward or roll back. We've got them nice and lifted. Still squeezing on through those lower abs here. Nice. Drawing little circles, size of an apple with that foot. Nice. Circle around. In a moment, we're going to come straight over onto the other side. Then you've only got one more move after that. And that's round one done. Beautiful. Smashing through it. Keep lifting up and out of the shoulder. Ooh, feel that side glute. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Switcheroo straight over to the other side. Set yourself up first, make sure that hips are nice and stacked, knee is at 90, lifting out of that shoulder, point your toe and let's circle it out. So we are on day three of the challenge. My question for you is, are you a leggings or a shorts person when you are training? Personally, I think I'm a leggings person. Coming up to summer though, might be a bit different. But let us know, what do you prefer to train in? What is maybe your favorite to clear up a legging or short? We want to hear it. I want to know. I'm actually interested because I love everything. Good. Let's go a few more here. Squeeze that glute. Keep lifting out of that shoulder. Notice if you've maybe been chilling out, can we empower through that body here? Finishing strong. Keep that core on. Use your breath for three, two, and one. Oh, tap it out. Nice. Grabbing your dumbbells. Let's come up to sin. We have a nice and simple RDL. So taking those feet hip width distance again, micro bedding through the knees, relax your shoulders. We're gonna slide those weights down, the hips go back. As we lift up, we squeeze through those glutes. Inhaling down, exhale up. Nice. So we wanna keep that nice flat back here, hinging at the hips. Tailbone goes back. Nice. Crown of the head goes forward. Lengthen that spine. Beautiful, relaxing through those shoulders. Reset at the top if you need. And just be mindful if you're using heavier dumbbells to really squeeze through those hamstrings. Sliding the weights down the shins. One more. And release, so good. Pop those weights down. You have a little breather before we come on to the second round. Right, grab it, oh, no we're not. We forgot something. <laughs> Thank you, Natalie. <laughs> Find all those. Just kidding. And pyramid. <laughs> bring it back. <laughs> I got excited. Apologies. Nice. Bring it back. That's why it's so good to train with other people because you won't make any mistakes. Nice. We've got our all fours hold into our pike or our pyramid. Nice, so this one we've got a little bit of pace here. So hovering those knees, hips shoot straight back. Then I promise after this, you will get a break. Nice, down and back, beautiful. In and out. A little stretch, one more in and out. Now you can have a drink. <laughs> Good. Woo, be sweaty. Nice, 30 seconds on the clock. Do what you need to do, have a little drink, change your song, maybe change your dumbbells up, whatever feels good for you. Nice, shake it out, do a little stretch. Then we're coming into that fun, quite a powerful move to start with, with our squat calf raise and then a squat jump. Know that if the jump isn't serving you today, you can always ditch it, come to another calf raise or just a normal squat. So let's set up into our squat position. We're gonna bring it down, lift, calf raise down, and let's jump. Good, lift, pause, up, down, up we hop. Good. 
powering through that jump. Remember, if the jump is not serving you, just come straight back to a normal squat. Do what is safe within your body. Nice, we're not here for much longer. And then you're almost halfway. So good. Nice. So close. Let's go last one up and release. Whew. Grab those weights. Nice, time to bring that breath and energy down just slightly. So coming to our curl, halfway, rotate a cuff, curl. Nice. In, out, in and out. So keeping tension on those biceps the whole time. Don't let those arms drop. Nice, connect back in with your breath here. Good, in through the nose, out through your mouth. Keep slightly tucking through your tailbone so you can keep that core engaged. Lengthening through your spine. Nice, a few more, then we're coming on down. Last one, and release, beautiful. Come down onto your mat, but make sure that you do keep your weights handy because we'll lay, lay down in a moment. Now coming to our absolute favorite move, our seated our bikes. Let's go. Nice, in and out. Point through the toes. Remember if that's hurting your tailbone or your lower back, come down, continue your ab bikes. Otherwise, staying with us. Or if you want, you can go down and up. Oh yeah, ride that unicycle. <laughs> Keep going. Do not stop. Nice. Oh, not sure why I did that, because that made it so much harder. <laughs> Three, two, one, whoa. Grab your weights, come on down onto your back. We've got that one that is gonna test our brain a little bit. So lift the legs up, reach your arms up. Let's go left leg, right arm first, and up we hop. So now that we know the moves from the first round, we can really begin to flow through this round a little bit more seamlessly and also the remainder of our workout with a little bit more intention and really digging deep through each movement. Nice, seeing if you can maintain that core connection and not stop all the way throughout. Good, remember you don't have to lower that leg too low, just so we can keep that spine stable and that core still squeezing in, so no arching through that back, and you're done. Now I will not forget this time, we are coming to all fours first, and we've got our all four hold into our pyramid. So hover those knees, pike it back into your pyramid, come back to all fours, hover. In and out. So aim with the game, do not drop those knees, stay connected the whole time. Because then we're on our side with those little leg circles anyways. So strong. In and out. That's it, you get a little stretch as you pike those hips back. Down and up, you can do it. Let's go a few more. Last one. And down, nice, coming on to your left side. Woo. Sweaty Betty, top leg long, point those toes. Maybe you wanna go in the opposite direction than what you did last time, or maybe you feel it better going a certain um, direction. So just tune into where you feel it within that side glute. May take a few little um, trial and errors to find it. Good, keep lifting out of your shoulder. Keep breathing, this is a small and controlled movement so we can bring our breath back down, but we're still keeping that body really active. Nice, squeezing here. Then we've got a little bit left on this side and then we're just gonna switch straight over onto your right side. One more in and out, Whew. over we go. Nice, setting yourself up. And let's go. So although it is a small movement, if you're really connecting your mind to your muscles, so in this case, our side glute, 
you will really be able to feel this. By the end of the 45 seconds, your glutes should be on fire. Nice. So keep that spine nice and long. Leg is nice and straight here. We've got one more move of this round. We've got our RDL. Then we get a little break and then final round. So good. Absolutely smashing it. Nice, hand to your belly. Is that core still connected? Little check-in, little self-adjustment. Nice, couple more here. Three, two, one. Woo, tap it out. Nice, grabbing those dumbbells. Up we come. Setting yourself up, feet slightly apart, little bend through those knees. Let's hinge forward, slide down, lift up, squeeze up. In and out. Nice. Remember lengthening that spine, extending that tailbone back and extending the crown of your head forward. Nice, Nelly there. This workout has absolutely flown by, although it's still been challenging. Down, up, squeeze. Nice, reset those shoulders at the top. Good, let's go one more after this. And done. Nice, drop those weights down. Take a little pause, take a little breather. Grab yourself a well-deserved little drink. Replenish, rehydrate. Maybe changing over those dumbbells if you want to give yourself a final little push for this workout. Or maybe grabbing some lighter ones as well, depending how you are feeling. Sweat out, wipe it off, change the song, ready to hype you up for the final round. So, one more of these little powerful squat jumps. Remember, if you're not feeling the jump, you don't have to do it. So, let's do it. Squat, lift, calf raise, down, power, up. Woo, up, good. And lift, nice. These are definitely feeling a little more heavier and a little challenging on the final round, but we are here. We are at the home stretch. <sighs> Using your breath. This is it. We do not have to do this again today. <sighs> nice. In, out. Last few here. Let's do one more squat jump and release. Grab your weights. Nice, coming to that bicep curl, bring it up, back, side lift. Good, coming back to your breath here. Bring that heart rate back down just slightly. Nice. Keep squeezing those biceps, keep lengthening that spine. So good. Nice, now after this, I know we're coming to our favorite one, but it's also the last time that we have to do those seated air bikes. So let's not think about it, let's just do it. Good, let's go two more. Last one here. Good, now bring the weights with you, pop them down beside you so that they are handy. You know what's coming. Let's get into it, up we hop and let's go. Air bike it out, across. Remember, you know your options. You're either back here. You can always keep that head down as well if you're feeling some tension or tightness, or you're up here whoop, with us. Balancing and really working through those lower abdominals. <sighs> <laughs> Reset if you need. Power through, woo, good. Oh my God, I'm losing my balance. <laughs> Two and one, whoa. <laughs> nice, come on down. Felt like I was on a unicycle to be honest. Good, lift those legs up, arms up. Left leg, right arm, return. Good. Nice, so this one, we're looking at engaging that deep core a little more. So our head is down, those shoulders are grounded. We're sort of testing that coordination, our balance, our stability quite a lot here. Because essentially we're pulling ourselves 
out of alignment so we can recreate it from the core. So it is trickier than you think, but you're all doing it so you're super strong. Nice, last few. And release, nice, pop those weights down. Cue them handy, let's flip over onto all fours. We've got our four point hold to our pyramid. Nice, reset, inhale here, exhale, back we go. In and out. Beautiful. Now don't let those knees touch that earth. I'm watching you. You can do it, we're nearly there. Good, use your breath here. We are huffing and puffing in the studio. Means we're working hard. Nice, last two. One more. And onto your left side. Nice, forearm down. Resetting, leg circles. Off we go. Size of an apple, leading with that big toe. So pointing your foot. Good, lifting out of that shoulder. Nice. So you've got your last couple moves here, then we get a nice little cool down. Then you get to go enjoy your day, your evening, whenever you're doing this. Just slotting in that little bit of movement and that time just for you to fill your own cup back up. I always feel so much better when I've moved my body, whether it's for 10 minutes, 45 minutes or an hour, it all counts. Nice, let's go last three, two, and one. Ooh, little tap, come straight to the other side. Reset, lengthen, lift up and out. Make sure that hip is nice and stacked and circle. So really finding that nice alignment through this one as it is that more small and controlled movement. Remember, sometimes less is more. Keep squeezing in through those lower abs. That's also what's holding you here. Building that strong foundation. One more move after this. Then you are done. Notice if maybe you're slouching into the shoulder. Can we lift up a little more? Lengthen that spine. Nice. Improving that posture for three, two, one. Woo. Beautiful, grab your weights. This is it, my friends. Up we come. We've got our RDL, relax those shoulders. Core is on, let's go. Slide it down, lift it up, squeeze up. In and out. Slide, lift. So trying to keep those weights as close to the shins as you can. Keeping that spine nice and long, keeping that belly in the whole time. Squeeze the hamstrings, squeeze glutes at the top. Beautiful, few more. This is it, tail end of your practice. Last one in and out, amazing. Pop your weights down. Let's come to the back of your mat for a little cool down. Feet are slightly apart. Let's reach those arms all the way up. Drop your left arm down, reach your right arm over. Nice side bend, good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, over. One more each way, breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale, up. And exhale. Nice, inhale, lift all the way up, look up and then just melt all the way down. Grabbing opposite elbow creases, find that little dangle, that little sway, just release through the whole entire upper body. Maybe swaying to the head, saying yes, saying no. For three, two, and one. Release those hands, let's walk it out into our little downward facing dog. Just take a deep breath in here. Long breath out, gently drop those knees underneath your hips. Let's inhale, arch the spine, gazing up. Exhale, round, chin to chest, cat cow. Two more, breathing in, breathing out. Let's just go one more, inhale, and exhale, round. 
and coming back through center, press your buttocks back towards your heels. Find a little shell stretch, walking those fingertips forward. Breathing into the side body and the back body for three. Just re-grounding for two. And one. And gently sitting back up onto those heels. Just shift your buttocks off to one side. We're going to come to a little seated twist. So extend your left leg long and just hook that right foot over the top, taking your right fingertips behind you. Inhale to lift that left arm up and exhale, either hook in front or you can hug that knee and look behind. Nice, big breath in, sit tall, long breath out, twist. Good, gently come through center, just find a little D rotation. Nice, release that leg long, bring that left knee up, take it across, left fingertips behind, inhale, reach. Exhale, either hook in front or you can hug that knee. Good, inhale, lift up, exhale, twist. Gently coming back through center, little D, compress the other side. Good, and coming back through center, you are done. This is workout number 172. You made it, we are so proud of you and we cannot wait to see you again soon. Bye.